Hey everyone, this time on Tim Talks Audio, we take another YouTube comment and make it into a video. This time, Rockwriter asks how to get a more translucent view of the events on the arrange window inside Studio One so that you can see the grid a little bit easier. Let's dive into the DAW and take a look. So here we are inside the session. What we're going to do is actually open up the preferences pane because that's where we need to find the little checkbox that's going to allow us to view the grid through our events or turn that off if that's something you're trying to do. On Mac, we're gonna use the shortcut of command and comma and on PC, that'll be control and comma. So now that I have the preferences open, where I'm gonna to wanna to go over to is instead of in general and appearance where you think it might be, it's actually not. It's gonna be under advanced and down here in the editing tab, event appearance. This is the area that has the setting that we're gonna to change to enable or disable a translucent view. And if you haven't found it already, here it is. Draw events translucent, or it even tells you the grid will shine through your events. If we take this off and apply, you can see that all of my events are a little more saturated now. And you can still see back here that I can see my seconds lines. This is the view that I'm in right now because I'm working on a podcast. If I was working in a music session and I needed the bars grid, then I would have changed my settings and I would have seen just the downbeat bars. But we can see that our events right here, we can no longer see these markers through the event. I'm gonna turn this back on, hit apply, and you can see they dulled out just a little and became translucent. If we zoom all the way in, we can now see our grid through all of these events. Let's take a look at some of those other settings that were inside the event appearances. We're back in our preference pane right now, and here is where we can actually turn off the event names. So if you don't like these little flags in the top left corner of your events, you can check this box right here to not show those names. Hit apply, and then they're gone. If you're using the chord track inside Studio One and you've analyzed a piece of audio, you can actually show or hide the chords on that analyzed audio by clicking this box right here. And then the last option is to draw smooth waveforms. This is just some waveform rendering that Studio One will do for you. Um, you can choose to turn it off, but I, as a default, leave it on. Really, it's kind of up to you if you want it on or off. You play with it yourself to see if it's anything that you would use in your workflow. It was a quick one this time, but I wanted to take an extra second at the end here to say that I just came back from AES of 2019 in New York City, and I had a great time over there. If you don't get out to some of these conventions, you really should. It's a great way to learn what the new technologies are, see what some of the most popular technologies are, and really the most important thing is network, network, network. Talk to everybody that's there. Talk to some of your idols. Talk to people who have just started. Really, talk to everybody you can and gain an immense amount of knowledge from just having a conversation. You don't necessarily have to go to AES or NAM or some of the really big name conventions out there. You can do some Google searching to find some of the smaller conventions that may be closer to you. That's all for now. If you found anything in this video informative, please like and share the video. For more, visit timflansbaum.com. And if you have a question, leave it in a comment and I'll answer it in a future video. Thanks for watching.